Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Xero with Stripe. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at xero.com or log into our existing account. Once we add our dashboard or workspace, uh, we discover that we won't be able to make this integration straight through Xero. So we are going to need help uh, from a third party app. Let's go and try automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, let's go to integrations on the top uh, side of our screen and slide over to see all categories on the bottom left part. As you can see, we can search from 200 and more apps, but we are interested only at uh, zero first, like this. And now we have to pick the counterpart, which will be Stripe. As you can see, uh, there is already some popular integrations uh, pre-made for us, like uh, uh, creating invoices in Zero on new payment in Stripe and so on. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, you want to go and scroll all the way down and start with Xero. Like I'm going to pick the first option, but you can obviously go with the one that you need. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, uh, you want to once again scroll down and start with, uh, with Stripe. Also a couple of options. The last thing that you uh, have to do, you have to click on try it now button and uh, log in to your automate.io account. Uh, and you are basically a few clicks away from finishing that integration. At zapier.com, uh, we also need to create ourselves an account. And uh, once we are uh, finished, we want to go to the top left corner and click on this black button, make a zap. It works basically the same way. We have to start with a, uh, with a trigger app, which will be Xero. Now we have to choose an event, also plenty of options. Continue. Now we have to log in to our Xero account, like this. Continue. Now set up a trigger by uh, picking organization, which will be mstone, same as its name of this workspace. And now status. The value will be all draft and you know, if it's a paid or avoided, invoice let's go with all continue and now we can test the trigger on the second action as you probably thought it's stripe we have to choose an event let's stick with the first one hit continue and the last thing is we have to sign in to stripe so that's about it thanks for watching and see you on the next video